So let's talk today about the go-to button. This button right here. What's it used for? It's um, so when you're writing a CNC program to automatically measure something, your go-to is it's kind of like a clearance uh, button. Anywhere you go, you want to use it for clearances. Just like if I was driving this thing around and I was down here and I didn't want, say when I come up and I want to go up, I would hit go to, it would store that position before I went over here, then hit go to, and it would store that position. It, it, it does exactly what it says. It goes to a certain point. So let's write a little program using this button. We want, let's measure this hole and then go over and measure this hole. So, all right, I've written a little program to start back here, come over here, measure this hole, come up, go to, come over, go to, drop down in here, measure the hole, come up, go to, move back, go to. And that's all it's done. So let's run this little program and see what it does. It's getting there. So it's going to drop in there, measure the hole, up go to, go to, drop down in there, measure the hole, up, go to, out. That's a simple little program that shows you what happens when you press the go to as your clearance. You want to go to, when it came over, if we hit go to, it, it would go to this point and then drop into the hole and measure it. So let me show you what happens when I came up and I did not press go to right here. All right, let me switch programs right here real quick. And we will run the program showing you what happens if you forget to put your clearance go to's in there. All right, so we will start. It's gonna come over drop in there now when it comes up i did not write a go to right here see what it does it tries to drive to the next point which is down inside that hole i, did, I definitely don't want it to do that you're going to alarm out with it now there are a few times when you can clear out the alarm so i want it on my you can't see the software Cleared the alarm out. I'm going to manually drive. Then I'm going to hit repeat the command. Yes. Up. Oh, didn't drive all far enough. All right. Let me get a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. A little bit more with the hole. Repeat the command. Dropped into the hole. All right, I did not do a go-to to come up out of the hole before I went back. So it's trying to go the shortest distance out of this hole. So again, I'm going to hit repeat command. I'm going to come up manually out of the hole. Okay, and it will finish the end of the program, which drives it back to there. All right, another common problem that people do is when they're writing a program, they'll measure a line, like a hit here and a hit here. Then you need to come go to, go to, and then here and here. They'll forget to, to do go to's. And it's, it never hurts to have more go to's than needed. You can add a go to, even if you've already clicked circle, and you're in the middle of that circle routine, well, anytime you hit go to, it will store that and it will run that even if you're in the middle of a, of a routine and not just positioning anywhere. So I wrote a little quick program to do a line here and a line here, like so, like if we wanted to compare the distance. So let me run that and see what happens. So it's gonna drop down here and measure this. 
measure, it's measuring the line. Go to up. I did not write a go to to come over here. So it did not drop down to measure that. All right, so I rewrote the program and I stopped it when it got to here and I did add the go to to this point. And now if I tell it to continue on, it drops down, measures it, go to up, go to back. So the whole point of the go to is you need to think about uh, clearances before you drop down into something measuring. Um, I always tell everybody whenever you, anytime you go to do a circle, what I suggest is position into the center of the circle, press go to, then drop down in there and measure your four points or three points or how many ever you do. So if you're going to drop, down, like if I'm measuring the overall width of this slot, go in here to wherever I want to, go to, then drop down. Just remember, go-to's are basically clearance areas. Uh, go-to is your best friend whenever you're writing CNC programs. Um, it doesn't add that much time to it, but at least you're sure of crashing and running into things. So I hope you understand what this button does now.